What up, homies? 1.30 in the morning, my usual time for making videos. Which is why I usually forget what I'm going to say, but we'll try to, we'll try to have fun. Okay, so excuses. I'm kind of sick of hearing it. I don't know about y'all. Y'all sick of hearing excuses? I'm sick of hearing excuses. I'm sick of hearing excuses from me, and I'm sick of hearing excuses from everyone else. So um, right now, it is September 14th, and I am making a pledge to not make any more excuses for myself. So who else wants to take that pledge with me? Um... I don't know, is is that the Boy Scout pledge thing? I don't know. I pledge no more excuses. So raise your fingers and take the same pledge and then quit making the excuses, okay? Because you can tell yourself and your upline, your team, whatever, that you're sick and you feel good or you're stressed out. You've got a stressful job. you got all these kids at home. Um, you're getting married. You're fixing to have a baby. You're moving, um, you lost your job, which, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. You lost your job, um, you're a single mom, you're a stay-at-home mom, you're not a mom, you're not married, but you have this, you know, this sucky job, um, you have a dog that stresses you out, you got ten cows and a chicken and rattlesnakes outside your door and scorpions in your house, um... <laughs> I mean, you can just do anything, any excuse. You got a team who doesn't work. You got unsupportive um, family and friends. Any excuse you come up with. There's someone unique who has that excuse too, but theirs is probably like way worse. But they're still working their business. There have been unique presenters going through cancer treatments, working in their business. Unique presenters who just had a baby and post from their hospital bed about unique on Facebook five minutes later. Um, unique presenters who are going through all that stuff. I know a unique presenter that had three, I think three pretty invasive surgeries in the past year. She was so sick for the majority of the year that she had zero immune system, like zero. She couldn't, she could barely get out of bed. She couldn't drive. So, I mean, she felt like crap, y'all. Okay, so two, two options there. Two things for her to do. She could either get on Facebook and post about woe is me, how sick she felt, or she can get on Facebook. That's option A. Option B, she can put on a happy face, throw some unique makeup on, get on Facebook and post about unique and have a smile on her face. Which one do you think she picked? It wasn't option A, it was option B. No matter how horrible she felt, whether or not she just had a freaking surgery, it didn't matter what was going on, she posts about unique every single day and she's not on Facebook posting her, um, her um, sad tales, okay? And that's what you need to be doing. Um... I mean, because there's always someone that's going to have it worse than you, I promise you, but they're most likely still working their business, and they're, they're the ones that are going to have to come up. And I'm talking to myself just as much as y'all, okay? I could sit here and, you know, try to make a sad story for myself, but I've, I've done that a lot in my life. I've had a lot of jobs. You can ask anyone in my family. It's like a running joke, okay? Like, I've had so many jobs. I've had so many jobs. And there's always a reason. There's always an excuse why I quit. But um, I'm not doing that, you know, anymore. I'm not doing that for unique. I'm not making excuses for myself. I'm either just going to do it or I'm going to not do it, but I'm not going to make an excuse for why I'm not doing it. I'll, you know, take the hit on it and say, sorry, I was just lazy. I didn't do it. So no more excuses. I can't handle it anymore. And don't tell me that it's because of your team because your team doesn't owe you anything. You owe, you've got to train your team. They don't got to train you. And don't tell me it's because you have unsupportive family and friends because, you know, your family and friends don't make the business. 99% of the time, they're not going to be the ones who make the business. Um, you can either let all the excuses make you or you can let it break you. I'm going to let it make me, okay? This, there, it, it's my drive. It's my my fuel for the fire, for the flame. It's why I'm going to push through and I'm going to go balls to the wall and I'm going to hit rock bottom. So are you going to let it make you or break you? up to you to decide but this is the fall and we're kind of going to be coming up on the gift giving season tis the season to gift and buy unique so are they going to be buying it from you or from someone who's not letting their excuses hold you back only you can decide so take the pledge or don't it's up to you okay talk to y'all later bye